All right, Dewata Man, this is symbolic, responding to your video called Race, a Social Construct or Scientific Fact. It's a question you asked me in the comments section of uh, uh, a video I did regarding um, uh, prejudice against Muslims. Uh, so, for some reason, this inspired you to do this video uh, where you quote from a text online and try to illustrate that uh, race is indeed a scientific fact and warrants medical research. Um, <laughs> I believe you've created a false dichotomy, Dewata Man. Uh, yes, there are superficial differences between the populations of human beings, and I do attribute that to um, evolutionary adaptation. But there are superficial differences. Uh, skin color, for instance, to protect against UV light, um, sickle cell, um, as an adaptation to survive exposure to malaria, um, which uh, say Africans, those of African descent uh, are susceptible to, and of Southern European descent, uh, like my ancestors and me, are susceptible to. So yeah, there are uh, evolutionary adaptations, but they're entirely superficial. Um, uh, so uh, you know, I, 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 I really cannot see you going so far as to start calling people subspecies. Um, that's going far, way, too, way too far. Um, uh, now, it, it exists as a social construct too, and it's pernicious. I mean, the prejudice, the oppression, just look at the history. Slavery, uh, you want to see how the medical uh, establishment has dealt with race, just, look, just Google uh, Tuskegee experiments. Um, there's a uh, horrific history. Uh, not distasteful, as your textbook says, but horrific history um, of how the medical establishment has treated uh, race. Um, it's a blurry concept, and as I say, uh, any differences between the races of humans um, appear to be entirely superficial. Um, now, if you want to apply the word in biological textbooks, I, I don't believe that it's currently used in biological textbooks to describe plants and animals. Um, uh, and we see the populations of plants and animals have evolved to adapt to their environment. But you, you have to remember also that human beings differ in that we adapt the environment to ourselves. So we're not just the product of our environment. Um, we have a sort of a feedback loop that we enter into. Um, so, I mean, it, you tell me, what are these profound physical differences uh, that exist between the races of uh, human beings that we have not discovered yet? You know, uh, there are none. You get these superficial, and, and none of it is, uh, my understanding is that these, these differences uh, that we conglomerate psychologically and call race, they're not on, on one area of the genotype. They're spread all over the place. So skin colors here, eye colors there, this is here, this is there. There are there are all over the place. You don't find one centralized race gene or race chromosome uh, to study. There's just lots and lots of differences. So um, completely superficial. So. I don't really see what where where you what, what you're trying to prove, you know. I mean, plus look at the real world. Uh, most of us are of mixed race, so you you know I don't even know how you're going to do a, a really pure clinical study if you wanted to. Um, you know, I mean, hopefully we'll progress to the point. Where, where, I mean, look, look what happens. Some, a patient comes in your office. Wh what are you going to do? You're going to say, okay, well, you have dark skin. You know, I think you fall into this racial category, and therefore, uh, I'm going to give you some different kind of treatment. No, I mean, hopefully, we'll progress to the point where, you know, a person's individual genome can be mapped instantaneously, and right there will be a readout of the possible um, susceptibility to diseases. You know, the vulnerabilities that exist. Uh, you know, instead of having to go through things like family history and uh, the art, the art of di uh, complex diagnosis will be able to, uh, you know, go by, uh, you know, an actual instantaneous map of the individual's genome, uh, and of course, you know, uh, that'll, that'll, uh, well, we would have to deal with some blurry concept like race, which is so loaded and loaded with prejudice, uh, uh, completely loaded with prejudice. So in any event, uh, I think that's, uh, that about sums it up. You've created a false dichotomy.
uh, any differences between the human populations are physically superficial. They don't warrant using the term or, or categorizing people into a subspecies. And, uh, and uh, I think it would pretty much be pretty useless research. There you go. Look up to Tuskegee experiments, my friend. Take care. Uh, tell me if it's distasteful or if it's horrific, a horrific crime. It's a horrific crime. Take care.